Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, we are going to install CUPS in Ubuntu Desktop so we can share printers over the network with other computers. So let's get started. First thing, I'm going to open the terminal. So I'm going to head over to Show Applications and I'm going to search for Terminal, press Enter. Let me maximize this. All right, so next I'm going to install Samba. So I'm going to do sudo apt install, if I can type Samba, all right? So the reason that I want to install Samba with Cubs is because I want uh, Windows computer to be able to browse for this printer on the network. And I'm going to let the installation complete. All right, so once installation is done, I am going to create a copy of the Samba configuration file. So I'm going to say sudo copy etc samba smb.conf. And I want to place it inside the same directory. And I'm going to append the that copy extension. Next I'm going to open Samba in VI and try the first thing that I want to do here I want to scroll all the way down to the global section and here underneath work group I want to include a setting which is user, which is security equals to the user. And I also want to make sure that workgroup is set to workgroup as other computers in the same workgroup will be able to find resources shared by this computer. I'm going to hit escape and then I'm going to do a backslash. And then I need to go to the printer section. So I'm going to type printer, pressing enter. Here I want to make a couple of changes. The first one, I need to set browsable to yes. So I'm going to say yes, hit escape, go down, and guess okay to also yes. Those are the two settings that I wanted to make here. I'm going to save the file. Next, I want to restart Samba. System CTL, restart SMBD service, and NMBD also service. Pressing enter. So we're done with Samba configuration. Next, we are going to install COPS. So I'm going to say sudo app install. Cups, pressing enter. Again, I'm going to let it finish. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of the Cups configuration file. Place it in the same directory. I'm going to append that copy extension, same thing. Now I'm going to edit the file. So bitc cops cops d dot conf, pressing enter. Here I want to uh, find a section that says listen localhost 631. And I'm going to include here, actually, I'm going to remove uh, localhost 631 by pressing on the letter D twice. Next, I'm going to go into insert mode and I'm going to include print, I'm going to include port, capital P and 631. And this going to, and by entering this setting, I'm making sure that all network interfaces are listening on port 631. And next, I want to go down to where it says location and here I want to include 
allow all capital A and I'm going to do the same in location admin now all and finally same thing in admin forward slash dot com press escape column wq now we're going to restart cups system ctl restart cups and finally i'm going to get my ip configuration so i'm going to say ipa notice that this is my ip address so i'm going to control shift c now I'm going to head over to the COPS web administration portal. I'm going to click on the browser. And next I'm going to paste the IP address followed by 631 forward slash admin. Pressing enter. And now what I want to do here is to add a printer. So I'm going to click add printer. And it says operate required, you must access this URL using HTTPS. Basically, um, this is giving me this message because I'm accessing the uh, web interface using HTTP. So I'm going to click on advanced to accept the certificate. And I'm going to, I'm going to click on accept, risk and continue. All right, so I'm going to repeat the same thing, add printer. I'm going to authenticate. Here in the Add Printer section, I'm going to select my printer. At this, at this point, you should have your printer connected to the computer. So I'm going to select the printer, click Continue. And I'm going to accept the default. I'm going to check share this printer, click Continue. Now I want to select the model of the printer. It is important that you select the right model as this is what it's going to install the drivers for the printer. I'm going to select that one and click Add Printer. All right, so the printer has been installed. All right, so here we are in the Windows client. So I'm going to access the remote printer over the network. I'm going to open the file explorer, and I'm going to type the server IP address, which is 192.168.132.128. Going to press Enter. And these are the two printers that I have uh, shared over the network. I can right click on the printer, click connect, and this will actually install the driver. But let's do things the way we're supposed to do it in Windows. So I'm going to install the printer by going uh, by clicking here at the bottom of the search bar, and I'm going to type printer, pressing enter. Here in the printer and scanner section, I'm going to click on add a printer or scanner. Right now, it's searching for available printers. And then I have this link here that says the printer that I want is unlisted. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to select uh, select share printer by name. I'm going to enter the printer IP address, actually the server IP address, followed by the name, uh, followed by the name of the printer, followed by the share name of the printer. If you want to get the share name, I go back into the file explorer, and this is the share name, MG3500 series. I'm going to click on it, then I'm going to click next. It says that no driver found, so I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to select the manufacturer and the model of the printer. This is important, uh, as this is what's going to pick the right driver for the printer. Click OK. And at this point, it's installing the driver. Okay, so I'm going to click Next. It's a good idea to print a test page to uh, verify that you actually, uh, that your printer is working properly. And finally, I'm going to click Finish. And the printer has been installed. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, remember to subscribe, hit the notification icon, and leave a comment. And I'll see you in the next video.